So you picked up one of these and looking forward to fly in the A1 airspace with the new C1 classification. But if you live in UK, this will no longer be possible in the new year. Yesterday, I received a note from long-term subscriber Lee that is informing me that UK will not follow the ESA regulations regarding the C1 labeling of the Mavic 3 Classic. This basically means that the drone will become a legacy drone by the beginning of 2023. This is, as far as I understand it, very bad news for our fellow UK flyers. So this is absolutely mind-blowing and I would be absolutely pissed if I was living in the UK and the officials pulled a stunt like this on us. Let me know your thoughts and frustrations in the comments below. After UK decided to Brexit, they did not take the EU EASA drone rules one-to-one. -one. There were certain deviations between the different set of rules. And for a while, it seemed there has been some uncertainty what you could do with the Mavic 3 Classic with the C1 classification. If that could actually be flown as a C1 drone in UK. But now at least we will know what will happen after January 1st, 2023. Because the DFT and CAA has asked for an extension of the legacy period for 1st of January 2026 to make an extensive review of the class identification labeling system to sort of assess if this is the right one for Britain. This is to some extent good news because all the legacy drones that you have right now, you will be able to fly them without any change until January 1st, 2026. But the bad part is if you have a drone like the Mavic 3 Classic with the C1 label in place, you will not be able to take advantage of what the C1 labeling is offering. So let's just reiterate what that means. If the drone is C1 labeled, you are allowed to fly the drone in the A1 airspace. This means that you can fly over people with no separation. And what that means in EU is that you only need an A1, A3 certificate to fly the drone. I believe there is a corresponding test in the UK, but with the latest statement from CAA and DFT, the class identification label will not be recognized after January 1st, 2023. And that basically means that the drone will dump from the A1 airspace into the A2. You will still be able to fly your Mavic 3 Classic in the A1, A2 and A3 airspace, but after January 1st, 2023, this will become a legacy drone and will have to fly accordingly. So with these new changes, there's literally no difference between flying the Mavic 2 Pro and the new Mavic 3 Classic. The penalty for the A2 airspace is that you need to keep a 50 meter separation when you plan to overfly uninvolved people. That makes it a lot more complicated to perform operations, especially in urban areas and you need to complete the A2 CFC. This is of course going to have a major impact on your purchase decision of buying drones. So I thought it was really important to get this message out, as I know a lot of you that follow the channel are from the UK. I am by no means expert in UK CAA uh, drone regulations. Uh, and uh, to get wiser at that part, I will refer you to a drone colleague of mine, Sean from Geekswana. He's probably the resource that I know from the UK that knows the most about how these regulations work. I will make sure to leave a link for him in the description below. If you're interested to know what happens if somebody tries to shoot down your drone, I made a few videos about that topic that you'll be able to access through these cards. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.